at the Grove, we want to be a church that grows goodness. But what does that look like on a practical level? What does that mean for us as a church? What does that look like in our lives as people who are part of the Grove? Last week, I talked about the importance of expanding our circle of inclusion. But to grow goodness also means to nurture healing, wholeness, and beauty. There's a story in the Gospel according to John where Jesus goes out in the middle of the night to meet with a prominent religious leader named Nicodemus. Nicodemus has set up a meeting with him. He's been watching him for a while now and has noticed that there's something different about Jesus. And he tells Jesus as much. He says, the way that you speak and the way that you act shows that there's something different about you. It makes clear that God is at work in you in a way that we cannot deny. To which Jesus replies, you're right. The transformational work that you are witnessing is the result of being born from above. And Nicodemus is confused and he says to Jesus, what do you mean by born again? How can someone be born again? You can't go back into your mother's womb. And now maybe you're the one that's confused because Jesus didn't say born again. He said born from above. Now, this is where it's helpful to know some of the original language. Uh, in the Greek, the word anothen can mean both again and from above. The author of the Gospel of John is using some wordplay in this conversation. So Jesus clarifies, I'm not talking about being born again. I'm talking about being born from above. What you are witnessing, Nicodemus, is the fruit of God's work in and through me. What you are witnessing is healing, wholeness, and beauty that does not just come out at night, but flourishes in the light of day. And this discussion eventually leads to the best known passage in the entire Bible. John 3, 16 through 17. For this is the way God loved the world. He gave his one and only son that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world should be saved through him. At the Grove, we trust in and rely upon this transforming, you might even say saving, work of God's grace in our lives. We are like seeds, precious creations with the powerful potential deep within us. And that potential requires attention. A seed is no good if it just stays in a bag. So it requires opening ourselves to the grace of God that waters and nourishes and begins growing transformation within and through us. The result being that the nurturing of God's work in our lives grows something beautiful. And yes, transforms us, but also becomes something to which others will take notice. A seed leads to roots, leads to flowers, and to fruit. We at The Grove work hard to nurture healing, wholeness, and beauty. We want to be born from above, acknowledging the work of God's grace in our lives and allowing it to transform and save us. 
That is what it means to grow goodness. Couldn't we all use a little bit more healing, wholeness, and beauty in our lives and in our world?